So again, this is this is from the Shema Oizem, Rabbi Zalman Duchman. who relates as follows. The venerable chassid, Reb Nochum, Reb Nochum of Radomshel. So he was Rosh Hashanah in Lubavitch one year. And he was right there up close when the Tzemach Tzedek said the Mafti Rosh Hashanah. And Rebbe Marash was standing nearby. Tzemach Tzedek had 57 sons. Yesterday we learned, we heard a story of, of the son of, of uh, Avram, the son of Rabbi Yisrael Noyach of Yezhin, who sent him to Rebbe Marash. Remember the story yesterday? Okay, so back here. So listen to this chassid. This chassid is right there. And it's a machzad, like saying that And the Rebbe Marash is there, and he heard that when the Tzemach Tzedek said in the Aftayra, on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, which is the story of what? Of the, of, of the, the birth of Shmuel, the Chana, which will come every year to the, to the Mishkan in Shiloh and pray for a child. And when he was born, she said, Elanar hazes palotit, for this child that I pray. So the chassid felt that the Rebbe Marash, the Tzemach Tzedek, was referring to the Rebbe Marash. His youngest child, of course, became the next Rebbe. So maybe you can think that the chassid sensed that. He was the youngest. We all know that Rebbe Marash was very concealed and didn't uh, uh, display any... Uh, scholarship or piety or try to conceal it. So I want to tell you we're quoting Shleim Azarchi. Shleim Azarchi in Mashpi in 770. So by the Rebbe it was a tremendous uh, crush. It was one of the most uh, press, uh, literally the Gashmias. Everybody wanted to hear that but didn't say it in a loud voice. And you need to be, you have to, you have, to have a, a strong desire and a stout heart to be what they call the washing machine there. Like the key is, And by the Aftaris, especially Rosh Hashanah when there was a huge crowd and, were, and people had their places, it was a whole, uh, whole, whole world of its own. You're placed by the Fabregi, you're placed by the Aftaris. And all these unspoken rules became just a certain point late. It's too late for you. Too bad. Place or no place. It was the unspoken rules of the flame used to fabreng. And he would say, I'm sure he still does. Then when the Rebbe said, that for this child I pray, he meant every book. That every bocha that had a little bit of sense of heart, and they all did, I'm sure, and all do, felt it. So the story we just told you, it's, it's the Marash, the next Rebbe, his youngest child. The our Rebbe, who is his youngest child? Every one of us is his only and youngest child. So you will remember this, not just Shoshana, a, a month from now, a month and a few days, by the Aftarah when it comes to these words. You can never hear the Aftarah, look at these words, and think of it any other way, once you've heard what you just heard from me. But I'm not as a spalotti for this child, I pray that you, it's me. But I'm saying not to remember it then, but to live with it now. Uh, how wonderful that would be. Everybody have a wonderful day. Baruch HaMetzlacha. And hope you back. Be'ez Hashem tomorrow. So if Ryan, people are feeling better. Baruch Hashem, you're feeling better. People on the mend. You, Julie. Shkayach. Pinchas. Okay, Baruch Hashem. Have a good day, Chaim. Everybody have a wonderful day. Sid. Mordechai, everybody have a wonderful day.